Woo! It's been a while, so I'm going to uh, start the next section, which is Side Story. Yes. So what do we do? Uh, unit levels go up, but skills don't. Classes can change, but not get new certifications. You can all by winning battles and inflicting armor breaks. Cool. Weapon durability, there's a finite amount of gold and ore. And only the Sword of Creator is repaired when you explore. For each battle, use the shops around the abyss or the prep menu to refresh your battalions. Ooh. Let's give this a go. Should we try, should we try Waifu Wireless this time? Yeah, why not? Connect the network. No. And for the purpose of this game, yes, I am still going to call her bro. Like Seven always. Shadows, the fourth house. In the Imperial Year 185, the construction of Garrig Mach was completed. Saint Seros held a sacred ritual to honor the occasion. Four saints, known as the Four Apostles, were led to a tranquil place to perform the ritual. They poured their holy essences into the Chalice of Beginnings, a gift from the Goddess herself in hopes of bringing about her second coming. Alas, the Rite of Rising failed. Bearing Isn't that the blame for the ritual's failure, the four apostles left the monastery. And Rhea probably killed them. Vanishing from the land. Yeah, yeah, also. The first sought the lush forest of Adrestia's mountains. Maybe not. The second traversed Fodlin's fangs, settling on the ocean's salted shores. The third traveled to the mountains, vanishing beneath their lofty peaks. And the fourth faded into shadow, in a town untouched by day's light. Lost to history, nothing but legend now remains of the four apostles. Their offering to the Nabataean chalice and the goddess, who never returned. So does Sothis die then? How the hell does that happen? It takes some effort to kill gods in these games. I mean, you do kill one of them in Excuse one of the games. Me. Sorry to intrude. Oh god, we don't like you either. Please forgive the disruption, Lady Rhea, but I have that report you asked for. Do not worry yourself, Alois. As it happens, I am presently unoccupied. Please go on. Ah, great. I'll just. Hmm? What's that book you've got there? It is a chronicle. Covering the 995 years since Garrick Mach Monastery. Ah, uh, the book must always be open in the middle, and all its information will be in the middle of the book. Cliche. Huh? Sounds like a good read. Maintaining the church's records is one of the duties entrusted to all archbishops, myself included. Wouldn't you just remember it as you are like some sort of immortal being? This one states that Saint Seros ordered the monastery's construction after the end of the War of Heroes. This is a rare and valuable text. Most documents of that era have been lost to time. So yeah, uh, random warning. If a person is watching this before they've seen my red re review or my red playthrough, I mean, I don't know why you'd start with Ashen Wolves, but I'm going to chat and talk as if you've seen me play it or you've seen someone else play it. So yes, I will refer to her as an immortal psychopathic being. See, see. Time aside, we also lost many books in that massive fire 21 years ago. Indeed. What was once well documented exists now only in this chronicle. Not least of which is the ceremony commemorating the monastery's completion. Interesting. 
I'll admit, I know the year it took place, but not a thing beyond that. That is to be expected, unfortunately. According to this chronicle, the rite of rising was held during the ceremony. The intent was to bring about the goddess's rebirth. The rite of rising, huh? Hmm. Can't say I've ever heard of that one. I am not surprised. There should be countless records documenting that important ritual. Alas. Today, all we have to go on are fragments of forgotten memories and our own imaginations. One thing is clear. Their wish for the goddess's return was most fervent. Yes, you knew. Saint Seros held the ritual along with the four apostles, Noah, Chevalier, Timotheus, and Oban. However, it did not bear fruit, as the goddess did not return to this world. I've never heard of the four apostles before. They're different from the four saints, right? That is correct. Today, is this just almost no exposition time. Okay. Their names live on only in the names of their crests. But the bloodlines bearing those tokens of the past have been lost. Any deeper knowledge of the apostles has all but disappeared from the grand stage of history. I guess the four characters that you happen to get in this playthrough happen to be descendants of those four people. Well, that's interesting. Does that mean they're somewhere backstage? In a sense. It is possible that their bloodlines have carried on in secret, perhaps materializing where no one thought to look. I had not intended to indulge in such a long-winded lecture. Please, tell me your report, Eloise. It concerns the underground. Is it not? Oh, right. It's as you suspected. Recently, there have been several incidents in the area beneath Garrick Mach. How? Claude, are you certain that suspicious individual you spotted went through there? See, for reference from my previous playthrough, that is how tiny Edelgard is. say that does look a bit like a passageway doesn't it unless i dreamt it up while sleepwalking there's no mistaking what i saw i never thought i'd say this but i believe claude's story in fact it reminds me of something i have heard tales of countless passages snaking beneath garrick mock this is undoubtedly one of them perhaps so in any case there is no telling where it leads Oh no. Oh, you're right. There's no telling what we could find. Terrible danger, wicked creatures, unspeakable smells. The risk is too high, your highnesses. I must humbly insist that you wait here where it's safe and smells nice. Okay, I kind of like that bit of humor. Well done, Claude. Meanwhile, Teach and I will track down the bandit shaped person. If we don't return, do me a favor and call for the knights, will you? That is quite enough. As though we would allow you to make that call on your own. With so little information, it's far too dangerous. We'll come along as well, right, Dimitri? Yes, of course. If it was indeed a thief, we must not allow them to get away with their crime. Okay, so... These catacombs are really hard to get into, right? So they'd have to exit through this area. Could we not just wait for them here? Considering what took place at the goddess's right of rebirth, Vigilance is paramount. Goddess's right of rebirth. Right, well, tag along if you insist. Just don't come crying to me if we all meet a terrible fate. Deal? Mm -hmm. Likewise. Well, no use dallying. Let's be on our way. Unless there's someone else we should call for. Teach is right. There isn't a moment to lose. Whoa there! What's all this, Professor? You and the three house leaders creeping around at night? Pretty shady if you ask me. It's more shady that you three, who are what I assume from three different houses, just happen to be chatting and walking past at this exact moment in time. It's certainly a rare and unexpected sighting, especially considering the hour. Looks like a whole lot of something is about to happen. I'm going back to bed. Stop right there, Lenhart. Your bad luck is our good fortune. You're coming with us. That means we have an archer. 
two axe people, a sword ga a sword bro, a lance, and whatever ashes. Thinking of ways out of this, Hilda. We could use your help too. You as well, Ash. I'll explain everything on the way. Happy to help. We don't have anything better to do at this hour, so we may give well this here instead, or some sort of actual combat mage. You have our gratitude. Now then, Wait, is Ash an archer? On our way. Ready, Professor? The more the merrier, I suppose. Let's just hope we're... Hmm. I mean, it'd be odd if he's an archer, because then I'd have two archers, two axe people. <sighs> Yuri, this is brutal. Tell me again why you're subjecting me to this devastating boredom. Enough with the yawning ball face. If you're really that bored, you could always make a friendly wager. Thanks, but no thanks, pal. I'm low on funds as it is. The first thing I need is another debt I can't pay. Right, B. As if you could say no to that. <laughs> How diverting that you should bicker for my amusement. The uniforms are interesting. They've got big chains and stuff on them. Imagine my overwhelming dread were I stuck here without such joyous entertainment. Count me out. I'll leave the talking to Yuri Bird and Coco. Hey, boss. Back already, huh? Have you detected any movement on the surface? You look unnaturally feminine for no reason. Okay. Well, uh, I looked for the Cardinal's meeting, just like you said. The thing is, I was spotted by some weirdos. They chased after me and everything. Let's assume the big guy is an axe guy. He might be a rider. He'll run out you, maybe. Some weirdos, you say? So very helpful. They weren't knights, were they? I don't know. There were only a few of them, but I bet they were armed to the teeth. <laughs> With meager numbers like that, I doubt they intend to take on Abyss. They probably took you for some kind of villain. They'll lock you up if they catch you. Finally, a little action. Let's find them first and throw some punches. Hold, Balthus. Tis ignorance itself to rush headfirst into trouble. You're excited to fight, too. You've been waiting for a chance to try out your shiny new magic. He is a mage. Alright. <laughs> Surface laws don't apply down here. That gives us the freedom to have some fun with them. They're probably not knights, but our new friends definitely work for the church. No, we don't. We don't like them. You had best not leave me behind. Hmm. It seems this place is more than a simple passageway. There's clear evidence of human habitation. People living under Garrick Mock? Oh, my brother used to tell me stories like that back in his academy days. Ah, so Holst attended the academy as well then? Of course. Back then there were tons of rumors about what goes on below Garrick Mock. Something about tons of passages and houses beneath the town. All had a real intimidating oh. name, too. Uh, what was it again? I think it was called Abyss. That's two points for the pink haired gal. Welcome to Abyss, strangers. Identify yourself. That uniform. Welcome, curious students of the Officers Academy. What brings such fine, upstanding surface dwellers to our humble abode? We're tracking someone who was creeping around the monastery. Our business here does not concern you. Do you intend to let us... <laughs> Such indulgence simply cannot be permitted. Your words may fool the fool, but I cannot be so easily deceived. I, Constance von Nouvelle, shall divine your true intentions. You are here by order of the church which cruelly plots to eliminate the inhabitants of Abyss. You not know what the three heirs to the kingdoms look like, no? Did she say Nouvelle? I don't care what the reason for this brawl is. A fight's on the menu and I'm ready to feast. Let's get right to it, yeah? By the look of them, I'd wager they're experienced combatants. I'm not certain this is a wise endeavor. There's six of you. I was thinking Seven. the very same Good thing. Bro. Time to make a strategic retreat then? Turning back already? 
Oh, but you'll make me so sad. Now, why would you want to do that? Everyone here is starved for amusement. They've been waiting for a good fight. Wow, look at that. A flawless example of a surprise attack. These aren't your run-of-the-mill thugs. Aw, oh, this isn't the time to be impressed by our enemy. We must find a way through at once. Wait. Claude, is it? As in the brand new heir of House Regan? God, you are not smart, are you? Who, me? Nah, wrong guy. Claude's a common name in Fodlin. It's just too dashing for new moms to pass up. It's even a popular choice for fake names. Just a good, solid, all-purpose moniker, you know? Right, except there's only one Claude enrolled at the Academy this year. Looks like that's you. How do you even know that? Yeah, if he knows that, he obviously should know what Edelgard and Dimitri look like. Ah, you just gave yourself away, pal. Looks like my luck's finally taking a turn for the good. All right, so your choices are as follows. Line up for the beating of a lifetime, or let us lock you up like the good boys and girls you undoubtedly are. God, you are not smart. Why would you try to beat up the heirs to the kingdoms? I have no clue what this guy's going on about, but it looks like a fight's in order. And it's pretty much all my fault. There's a saying from the East about fighting a flicker with a flame. Seems applicable right about now. Finally, let's do this already! Prepare to face the almighty king of grappling! But yes, my archers will definitely do that. Hmm. Why can't I shake the feeling that I know that wild man? How many slots do we get? Just three? Ooh. How are we feeling special? Was this supposed to be canon and it just happens to be like people randomly living under the city, uh, under the castle, and a uh, crazy dragon church lady doesn't know? These tutorials. Why? Oh. Oh. We're already in top tier classes, are we? Ride a fortress knight. She can reclass into mercenary and priest. I'll leave Edelgard in that for now, I suppose. Linhart can go into Wallach or Bishop. Ash can go to Assassin. That might be more useful. I want this map up like. It's a big map. What do we get? Bullion. Bullnery. War Monk. Ooh, that's a, new, that's a nice fun class. What else do we have? Dark Flyer. Rickster. Where's the fourth one? Happy. Valkyrie. Valkyrie is a mage class thing? An anti monster class. Okay, what's this one? Buffs, huh? It applies magic. And you're some sort of healer. Punch healer, huh? Or axe healer. Oh, 
All right, then. Let's go. Who are you people, anyhow? It doesn't seem right to cross blades without knowing at least that much. Wow, does it hurt to take yourself that seriously? Answer the man's question, B. By me? Eh, fine. We're the Ashen Wolves. We're the secret fourth house in Abyss. The surface world turned its back on us, and we did the same in return. Back for a back, as they say. You're trying to tell me that in the thousand years that crazy dragon lady's been alive, he didn't even acknowledge or know that you exist. Hmm? Impossible. Still, we must focus on the battle ahead. Seems like it'll be tough to fight here. It's kind of dark. Looks like a great place to nap, though. The locks on those gates look really complicated. There must be another way through. You didn't have to show me that game. Well, Hilda's too far away, so she can do it. Nothing's happening. What are we doing wrong? I think the better question is, what aren't you doing wrong? Only we can operate that. Well, she, do she does have the Sword of the Creator right now. Is that your range for now? I will prevail. Oh God, can just stand there. Ready and willing. Hang out a chip in here. Cut. Back a square. Crap, that's an archer in it. I'll cut through. Never had a chance. I need to get interrupt you somehow. I'll give it my all. Okay, let's go down. Then at least he's not a threat. <laughs> Doing my part. I have no concept of how powerful these guys are or not. Stay focused. Don't want to use much of the sword to create a affair. Come and get some, kiddo. These fists are packed with years of pent-up resentment. Bro is in Sword Master class. Yet has lots of healing magic, which she can't use. You have a lot of spells. You can't use any of your magics. It's yes! As expected. Another step forward. Oh, they chose a nice of our actress for girl. Guts. I'll give you that much. Is when the steels last longer than irons. Now you 
you know your limits. Put this enemy here. I think the meat should be more useful. Chip, that's fine. Let me go here. Ash with him. That's good. Oh! So if it the did, if it did miss, that'd be a huge waste. Because I believe they said weapons are hard to call. get, so I'd rather not use any arts at all. We start off with 10 physics. Thanks for that. And they gave us the best healer in the game. Well done. Over already. I must keep aiming higher. Since Earl Guard is an armored class, I need to chuck her onto the front lines more than anyone else. So her range is really slow. Alright. Physic. I just just heal. They don't have relationship points in this game in this section. Interesting. Move Ash forward. Come to think of it, there's an easier way to handle this. <sighs> what was that? It couldn't have been a summoning spell. Be opened with a key. Well, you, you can't go into this section at all. Ready and willing. Snake thing. Let's crush snake thing. Great damage. Odd choice of units that they gave for this. Paladin with nine magic. Wow. You seriously suck as a paladin, bro. No. I'll put you. Is that far enough? I don't want to use the curved shot. 27 twice, I'll do. That's the golden deer for you. The what? The game doesn't acknowledge that. What, what, what clan was that? I don't think I've ever heard the game mention them. Right. 
So apparently we can't attack Happy. Because she just ran away for some reason. What's the objective? Oh, so you must be able to fight her. I wouldn't say all commanders. I mean, Edelgard right now is so slow it's because she's an Arbor Knight. He's never going to get any attacks in. Progress. Is partially why I didn't choose Armored Knight for her when I was on my playthrough. Unless it's Great Knight. And you can just go straight across here. Wreck this fool. Ooh! <laughs> it would behoove you to watch your back. Oh no! I knew something didn't feel right. Well, bro, and they've got one hit on Linhart. Not so fast. You fought well. Finally, right, Edelgard can get some hits in. Thirty-two. I'll do. Then we'll just snag her with Claude. Actually. Ash. Doing my part. Need to buy some speed upgrades for Edelgard if I can. Will you heal yourself regardless? And not one of your skills. Take it easy. Heal. Hold on. Alright, so Dimitri has a key for this door. Put you straight in there. I mean, I can attack happy for me, I can't. Damn, she is strong. I'll wait till next turn. Don't worry, I'll do it. Ideally. You have Ragnarok. We're at level 20 game. Alright then. So Back out of this fight. I don't want to hurt anyone. But in this case, I guess there's no avoiding it. I do like your class, it looks fun. But unfortunately for you. Yeah, that did waste a bit of durability. Might regret that eventually, but progress suits me. Right now, I'm fine with that. This is boring. Count me out. So who's next? Next is Valkyrie Girl. Wow, she's already capped in strength and magic. That sucks to be you. Big thing to ask, cool. 
Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm all sweaty. Didn't need to know that, but thank you. for crap, can he? Nice. I don't like the part where I have limited thumbs. I must stay focused. I have to get all the bullion I can. Yep, so that's bad. Cool. An archer, so I need someone of s adequate archery skill. You do have a javelin, cool. I'll have to do until we move everyone back. To Gambit. Retribution? What's that Gambit do? You allow counter attacks. That's pretty sweet, actually. It's odd having them back to their original design again. I'm not used to it. Yeah, paladins can't use magic yet, can they? It's when they upgrade that they can. Alright, so we've got marches. We'll run up with bro. No hesitation. That is that. We need that. Oh, we can run in. What if jumps now? Yeah, there's no chance in hell I could have hit that guy. Use caution. Out of a mini bow, but the fight continues. Oh. 50% twice. His best is a 70% hit. Oh, an 80% hit. No chance to prevail. You never had a chance. this story is. Okay, so we've got two Pegasus Burrows. I'll cut through. I'll send in a couple of units to these squares. And the rest are just gonna I do want to let Edelgard get up front to fight. Heal. Yeah. 
Only five, but it's something. Each battle, a chance to grow. I didn't go sword muscle last time, I think I went hero. Is that all? Yeah, I notice I don't get any class XP either. But the classes they are are the classes you have for the whole map. Constances. You've got Fimble then, alright. Oh. Who's got my highest res? You have my highest res. Alrighty. Do you have any friendship with people? I'm not sure you want any, does it? Some bro next year, you'll get some both. There's an ash next year, you'll get some buffs. Retribution. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'll guard in. There, cool. Go. Lord, can just sit there. And if I click this, you heal. of abyss and it won't end well for you tremble in fear at my magical might <laughs> my god is i am the blue the blue blonde hair looks quite nice Much is that I'm temporarily grounded. Alright, so I want to stay out of your range. I can just run in and beat these fools, can't I? Thirty-six twice, I'll do. Over already. You're just gonna steal all the XP, Dimitri. You're just gonna wreck all the fools. All of them. Well, if she stands there, she's gonna get KO'd. Uh, bro. Yeah. You can. Physic on Dimitri. Thanks for that. No one's attacking Claude, huh? Stuff it. Oh, that is going to stand there. In a second. I'll bring him in. Mm, that's a bit cheap. You've got Cancer, right? We're all, we're all attacking bro now. Holy Murray. In case. Ow. That's fine. Allow me to demonstrate. You fought well. Battle, a chance to grow. Kind of nice how they started off as a flyer, though. Um, yep. Yeah. 
68% chance though. Do I have time skip? Yes, I do. But not time skip, but uh, you know what I mean. Time tweak. See if we can deal with you first. Nothing to do again. I need to have some actually hit the second use. 71% chance of 23 is pretty well, good. what have we here? Some lost kids stumbling around in the dark? Stay a while, won't you? Shame indeed not to have a bit of fun with each other while we've got the chance, you know? You've said it's androgynous, you know, androgynous boy. Oh, he's got Aegis as well. Really? Well, Dimitri can finish it. Can Bro finish it too? Yes, but Bro will die. Can you finish it too? I will just finish it. I'm not messing about. Go away, Dimitri. But uh, Yuri, go away. You never had a chance. Yeah, we're not messing about with that. I must keep aiming higher. It's safe to say we've won this round, don't you think? Uh, B, was it? The name's Balthus. I don't lose often, but I can at least recognize what it looks like. Balthus. Balthus. Balthus? From House Albrecht? Baldy, is that you? Whew. <laughs> you look, uh, old. Huh. Do we know each other, pal? Wait a minute. That hair, those eyes, that voice... Yeah, no one else has pink hair in this game. Hilda! I don't believe it! Pulse little sis! Yeah, no one else has pink hair in this game. So, who else could it have been? I don't believe it. Little Hilda herself. Why didn't you speak up sooner? Balti, this isn't the time to catch up. What would Hulse think? I bet you didn't consider that, did you? Eesh. I don't know, but it wouldn't be nice. Look, sorry, okay? Just don't tell Holst. If he knew I raised a hand against you, he'd have my head. Ha! <laughs> like he'd stop at your head. Fine, though. Just this once, and just for you, I'll keep quiet. Now that that's sorted, what did you mean about it being lucky that you found me? Oh, that. One of the guys I owe gold to is Count Gloucester. He said something about forgiving my debt if I could dig up some dirt on you. Figured this was my shot. Aha, uh -huh, so it was purely selfish. But then was a fight really necessary? It really was. The best way to acquaint yourself with someone is to get into a tussle with them. That's common sense right there. Yeah, and potentially kill them. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. That's the correct response for a reasonable person. We're not all as far gone as Both is here. Went along with it, though. Say what you will, but I learned all I need to know. It's clear this lot has nothing to do with the church's intentions. I mean, blue boy, a little. As he would side with the church. But that but. means those other creeps could always attack us at any moment. Someone's targeting Abyss. Mercenaries keep sniffing around and causing trouble here. They won't let up. It's a real problem, and we have no clue who's pulling the strings. There are many within the church who would love to see this filthy underground city purged. When you first showed up, we thought you were here to do just that. Apologies for the confusion. So that's 
That's why you came at us with that nasty kill the outsiders act. As Yuri Bird said, we're sorry. We're all pretty on edge these days. Indeed. That someone would descend to Abyss out of pure curiosity was far too outlandish to consider. No idea. These tunnels have been around for ages. They could be older than the monastery, for all we know. None remain who know the complete truth. However, I shall tell you all that we know for certain. Abyss is home to those who shun the light of day. It is the secret shadow of Garrick Mach, if you will. The church quietly tolerates us. They think they need a place like this for Garrick Mach to thrive. Where were you when we needed you in the previous game? The deal is simple. The Not previous game, previous playthrough. The surface, and the surface never gets involved with us. Alas, for some foul reason, surface dwellers have been after us of late. You are oddly dark skin for a character who is doesn't go out into the sun. I thought you'd be really pale. Further oppressing those souls who can only find solace beneath the ground? I cannot abide it. Though it pains me to admit, we too harbor valid reasons for not venturing into the light. That is why, by the grace of our esteemed patron, we have been granted sanctuary here in Abyss. I see. Balti, does that mean you've got a reason for being here too? Great so, Hilda. I'm here because there are more bounties on my head than there is hair. Needed to lay low. Real low. But Balti, that's awful. Enough with the niceties. Let's get these surface dwellers out of here. Nonsense! Intolerable nonsense! Why ever would we let slip this chance to acquire their aid? Like we said, recently this place is being targeted by mercenaries. You mean like bro, because bro is a mercenary. Myself excluded, a lot of the folks who live here can't defend themselves. They're here to avoid conflict. The elderly, the infirm, orphans, lost souls, merchants were chewed up and spit out by the nobility, the works. It rests upon us to protect those who cannot protect themselves, and to safeguard our home. To that noble end, I must insist that you lend us your strength. I feel for your cause, truly. However, I cannot help but wonder why you would trust us so readily. Trust is a choice. We're choosing to trust you. For now. It's clear you're not here by command of the church. And you're not just a bunch of noble twerps either. You can hold your own. It's in the way you fight. Still, I'm reluctant to get you involved with this madness. It's our problem. Okay, so you four know who Hilda is, who Claude is, but you haven't mentioned that you know the king and, well, technically emperor of the other two kingdoms. No, not mentioning that. It's too late now. We already told them everything. Let's at least give them a chance to decide for themselves. Most true. Wander about Abyss for a time, and I am certain you will come to the only correct conclusion. Right. What she said. Take a look, think some thoughts, consider yourselves our special guests. Alright, what does the overworld look like? Cindered shadows, what lies beneath? Is that dragon the form that uh, Rhea turns into? The immaculate one? See, we do not need a loading screen to go into that and to go into another long loading scene. We did not need that game. Ooh, is this my new map? Smaller than I thought, which is nice. We don't have them in our squad, we only have the standards. Hey you, listen up. 
I've got something to report. It's about you outsiders. Actually, guess I shouldn't bother reporting you to yourself. The Ashen Wolves may seem tough, but they're harmless. Honestly, things can get pretty boring down here. But here's a little piece of wisdom from me to you. Boredom's a luxury. Trust me. I know these things. Do you? You, you know these things, do you? But we're not off to battle for a start. We're going to explore this area. Well, on the next one, we're going to explore this area. What's the storehouse look like quickly? We have some stones. Nothing else. Um, abilities. We don't want that. We don't want that. Uh, Edelgard is not using sword right now. We can have this. We don't want battalion advantage, we want this. I'll just quickly sort these. X4. We don't really use battalions, but. I'll leave you with your battalion. And what was the other one? Combat arts. Standard battalions. Fine. What can I reclass Edelgard to? Warrior. Mm, you know what? I might do that. Fortress Knight is useful. I think Warrior is better right now. Uh, we don't need a Pegasus Knight. You might be better off as a sniper on certain levels. I mean, you only have bows anyway. Is that just so we've got a flying unit? What's your other one? Hero instead of Paladin. I suppose there's going to be situations that I'll need to swap these out. No second fall. Priest, that's why you have heal. So we can make you into a healer if we want. But all in well, I mean he can be a warlock too. Oh, we'll save that for Save that for the next section anyway. <laughs> 